please. If I may remind Hazur, uh, yesterday Hazur has promised us to continue to talk about the two signs for the Mahdi of Hazrat Muhammad I see. Did I promise that? Yes. I wanted only to refer to those signs because I have repeatedly said so much about those signs in the Kamal Arab as well as uh, in other sessions. So the signs are the signs of two heavenly bodies, that is the moon and the sun. And these signs have been mentioned in a hadith. One hadith in particular which speaks of these signs to be from for the these signs to be for the Imam Mahdi of Ahaz. Now this is a very significant expression. Inna le Mahdi ena ayatane. Lam tukuna mundur kasama watwala. So I think this is the most important prophecy about the advent of the Imam Mahdi because this has also been mentioned in the Holy Quran. So those who say that uh, how can we prefer this hadith or al hadith, for them there is enough evidence to silence them that the Quran mention is Waiza Now, when we read the Quran exactly as it is, then people will understand the first person who has asked this question that we do not prefer this hadith unnecessarily and make it dis considered distinct from all other such hadiths. But we have a strong reason. It takes a bit mm. longer for Imam um, Sahib. Yes, I'm um, just fine. Surah Al Qiyamah is here. Surah Al Qiyamah is here. Yes, sir. And Qiyamah also indicates the word that Sa'ad, there is going to be some big change. Awuzu billahi minash shaitan rajim, bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Yassalu ayyana yawmul qiyamah, faiza barikal basaru wa khasafal qamaru. Fahe wa hai. Faiza barikal basaru. Faiza barikal basaru. Wa khasafal qamaru, wa jumia shamsu wal qamar. Yaqulu l'insanu yawma izin an al-mafar. The translation is given here. Mm -hmm. He asks, when will be the day of resurrection? When the eyes, when the eye is dazzled, and the moon is a, is eclipsed, and the sun and the moon are brought together. On that day, man will say, whither to escape? Now, this is this translation is faulty. There is no doubt about it. Because when the Qiyamah takes place, who will wash the moon and the sun? <laughs> you see, everything will go topsy turvy, everything will be destroyed. And then for any person to say that Anil Mafa is not possible, it's simply impossible. So, Al Qiyamah here should have been translated the great change, Asa, because Qiyama is also translated as Sa, when there is a great, great upheaval in the world. And that up, upheaval will be in the favor of Islam. 
So I'll give further argument in favor of my inference. He asks, what will be the time, what will be the day when Prayama would take place? You answer them, answer such a person. It will take place when Barakal Basaro, when the eye will be dazzled. You will see things and you will not register them properly. Prayama Barakal Basaro, wa khasaf al kamaro. Yeah, wa khasaf al kamaro. Wa khasaf al kamaro, and. Uh, the sun will be eclipsed. The moon will be eclipsed. Now who can say that the moon will be eclipsed when there will be that day of Khrama when everything will go to obstacle? How can moon, moon, the moon get eclipsed at that time? But Jumra Shamsu al Khamar. And in this eclipse, sun will join with moon. This description is so clear that it leaves no doubt in one's mind that the description of that karma which people understand ordinarily to be the end of the world, this karma is not mentioned here. But over and above this, I remind you that Jesus Christ also prophesied, prophesied about his advent when similar things will take place. He says, when the sun will cease to give light and the moon will also be darkened. That is the time when he claims he would come again. So, this is exactly what the Quran says. And it is saying about the advent of Mahdi who would also be Masih. So these things are so beautifully well connected that any man who has no who has who is without prejudice cannot escape the only conclusion that these verses support the hadith. Which say in the which says in the Mahdi na ayat hai ne lam to kora mujhko khud ke suma wo to baba awal ha ayan kasif al khamaro fi awal lailat min Ramadan aur tan kasif shamsu fi nisf min so this entire hadis in itself is worded in a manner that no liar could have invented such a hadith. First of all, for Rasulullah to say that it is from me, that Mahdi would be from me. And if Nauz Billah Manzalik, this was a Batul hadith, how the man could imagine such things, which actually came true. Then he is Sadiq, Nauzubillah, Mzadiq, and Rasulullah is not. So, it is only Ahazur Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who is Sadiq and whose word had to come to pass. So, in the light of what has already happened, we cannot draw any other conclusion but that this hadith is true. It had to be from Rasulullah and from no one else because he speaks of a distant future when the eclipse and the, of the moon and the eclipse of the sun would take place during the month of Ramadan and during certain dates. But tell me, honestly, can any liar predict such a thing? And when you look back at the history of what happened at Kadyan in 1894, 
after Hazrat Masih Muhammad had claimed to be that Mahdi and that Messiah, then it's impossible to escape this conclusion. This is the mean way the Barak al Basal. The Quran says, is a Barak al Basal. People will see and their eyes will be dazzled. They will not be able to, the enemies who do not want to believe, their eyes will be dazzled. And they would not to conclude what they see clearly, and the only conclusion they should draw, they will try to escape that. In 1894, five years after the Ahmadiyya Jamaat was founded by Hazrat Masih Muhammad this sign took place, these two signs took place in the heaven. In the same month of Ramadan, the moon got eclipsed on the 13th. And the sun got eclipsed on 28th, which is the middle of the eclipse days. So the first and the middle situated exactly in the month of Ramadan, like it was predicted. So we read in the history of Ahmadiyya that people, the Mullahs particularly, after the advent of Hazrat Masiwa kept demanding from him these two signs at the loudest of their voices from their pulpits they cried where, is, where are these two signs if you are the true Mahdi? but when they happened then they started trying to fall putting forward excuses, lame excuses, and meaningless excuses. The fact is that Hazrat Musim al knew that this sign was certainly going to happen during Ramadan. So one Ramadan during, in 1894, the moon got eclipsed on the 13th. Now he was so sure that the sun was bound to follow in his eclipse on the middle of his days, middle of his days of eclipse, that all night Hazrat Muslim Wasallam and many of his followers and many who had come from far off places was so sure that this sign would take place that traveled some distance and reached Qadiyan to be with Masih Muhammad Wasallam and Allah shows this sign. They were gathered on, in masjid, on masjid, the roof of Masjid Mubarak and praying and waiting until the morning broke and at about 10 o'clock in the morning a boy came running shouting, the moon, sun has got eclipsed. It was total eclipse. It was the 28th of the days of sun's eclipse. Can you manufacture these things yourself? You cannot associate any iftara with such things. So the signs appeared in the heaven had, had been predicted and uh, Hazrat Masih Muhammad was proved right that he was both the Masih and the Mahdi. Please. <coughs> yes, sir. The khusuf of Qamar is not possible when literally the sun and the moon have got together. The khusuf can only take place when the earth happens to be between the path of the sun's light and the moon, and the moon, only then moon can get eclipsed.
So how can khasaf take place when literally moon and sun were brought together? And when they were brought together, if people were not seeing, what does khasaf, barekhal basra mean? It's impossible that I has lost its sight and yet they are seeing. So that means that the eye is dazzled. 